All right, EBG E Jizzle, how's it going, man? Ma, you know I'm good. I can't complain. What's up with yourself? I'm great, man. You know, same grinding, man. You know, uh, out here in Cali. You know what I'm saying? It's uh, you know, nice out here, man. Yeah. So uh, I, I'd want to want to get to know you a little bit better. You know, what I'm saying, get into your whole story and you know everything about you. You know, I know um, you know a lot of people from Memphis probably know your backstory. You know, but I got, I got a big audience. Just yeah. out of L.A., so they might not know your story. They might want to, you know what I'm saying, get a little bit more familiar with you. So we'll, we'll go ahead and start from the beginning. And, uh, so where'd you grow up at? I uh, grew up in Memphis. It was our way. The North, my mama stayed in North Memphis. My grandma stayed in Binghamton. So I was our way between the two. Okay, and what was it like in Memphis when you were growing up? Can you paint that picture for me? Shit. Same way it is now, hectic. You see, it always been war, and it, it always would have been in Memphis. So there's all, it's always been a lot of drama in the streets. Yeah, it was like when you were younger, you know, it was, I'd say, small, a little proud. You know, we used to meet up and fight and shit, but nowadays, you know, when gun came about, it was just made the shit worse. Now, growing up in such a, a hectic environment, man, how old do you think you were when you seen, like, your first, you know, real, real violence? Shit. Too young to remember, man, about eight, eight, I'd say about seven or eight years old. Did somebody get shot in front of you, or? Yeah, um, I seen a motherfucker get shot when I was about seven or eight years old. I ain't know him or nothing, but shit, that was just like my first time just witnessing a motherfucker get popped. Damn. Yeah. Did the dude die? I don't know. I just seen. I don't know what happened. I don't know the backstory behind the shit. I just was a young nigga. You see, I, you know, I wasn't just on point about the shit, but I saw it. Damn, that's pretty young, man, to have to see something like that, man. You know, uh, were your family mixed up in the streets also, or, or or were they, like, trying to keep you out of the streets? My, I got, you know, I got, like, a mix in my family, though. Like, my mama, she, like, you know, she from the hood and shit, but she gonna go get her some money, the legal way type of shit. My dad, he, he street, but, you know what I'm saying? But, like, most of my uncles and cousins and shit like that, that's where I get my way from. Okay, so a lot of your family is mixed up in the streets, and, and yeah. you kind of follow them into the streets? Yeah, it's just like I had some family doing good, some doing bad, but I don't know why. They just, that way just attracted me more, like the streets, I don't know why. What age did you get mixed up in the streets, or, or jump off the porch? See, I know that. I jumped off the porch about the least, I'd say, like really just out here doing, like a nigga been going outside and shit, but like, just out here doing shit, I'd say about 13, 14. I caught my first charge at 13, type shit. Uh, what'd you get arrested for? Man, I, it was, I had like a, I think it was a, it was an attempted murder, but they dropped to assault. I had ended up getting one, and two of one of my family members, matter of fact, I got a two of one of my family members, and then the shit just went the wrong way, and I had ended up kissing a little attempted murder charge. I ain't just gonna speak on it because I fuck with them. I fuck with my uncle now. Were you in jail a long time? Uh, that, it was just like, uh, but I was, it was cause I was a, a young nigga, you know what I'm saying? They just, they they, they put, put me on probation for like a year. I was in jail for like two weeks, then they put me on probation for like a year. Man, that's a uh, shit, man. That's pretty young, man. But I mean, you know, you're catching this case, you know, now your family knows you're mixed up in the streets, man. How does your family react when they find out Find out about everything. Man, they just, like, I ain't gonna lie, that was the turning point. Like, they just showed my family right there what I really was on and shit. Cause, like, at first, I was smart at fucking school and shit, but I was still doing my dirt in the streets. But as a young nigga, I was keeping that shit away from my folks and them and shit. So as I got older, you hear me, it was just too much to hide type shit. So I really grew, that shit really grew distance on me with them. Like, I wasn't even fucking with family for a little minute. So I end up getting locked up again when I got old and noticed this shit. Shit, these the only motherfuckers that care about you for real, family. But as a young nigga, when I was like a child, like family involved, like I wasn't even like I, I wasn't even mess with family back then. To this day, I got family I don't mess with still, but it's like it's more that I fuck with than I don't.
Now, growing up being mixed up in the streets, did that ever affect you going to school or anything? I was always great in school type shit. Like, everybody, like, back then, like, everybody used to fuck with me. Even, like, the people that don't, don't like me now, back then in school, like, everybody used to fuck with me. You know what I'm saying? Like, because I've been the same person, like, all my whole life type shit. So I wouldn't say in school, it just like, it wasn't really just no problem in school. Did you graduate high school? See, I graduated in jail, like when I was um, 16, I got, they gave me juvenile life, so I got out. I, when I was 16, they gave me juvenile life. I got out when I was like 18, finna be 19. Can I ask you what, what'd you get uh, juvenile life for at 16? See, it did. I got the reason that some y'all it was for aggravated robbery, but the motherfucker it was just like I had so many charges built up, so it like they couldn't just keep giving me a slap on the wrist. They had to go and do something serious, so they would make them just go and send me out. And plus, and plus the nigga like the plus the nigga was my best friend at the time. He ended up snitching on me. Yeah, he ended up telling this shit. Okay, so your best friend snitches on you d during this case, and yeah. and then it leads to you getting juvenile life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so, how long is juvenile life over there? It's just like it's to you, like you, to you, nineteen. But you can earn like little good times and shit, and get out. So it really depends on like you can get juvenile life at fourteen. You still gonna be determined, to, like you you dirt to you nineteen. You know what I'm saying? Okay, I see. Yeah. So you get this juvenile life and, you know, so you're looking at like three years, you're in jail. Uh, what's that experience like for you? Um, that was, I ain't gonna lie, like, jail, that was like just turned to me, to, it turned me to like a, a boy to a man type shit. Cause you know, you just, you and that motherfucker fiending for yourself really, you know what I'm saying? So they just turned to me from boy to man. It opened my eyes to a lot of shit that a lot of motherfuckers ain't real. A lot of motherfuckers ain't who they say they is. And, and then the niggas that be on the street, they be whole different people when they go to jail and shit. So it, it, jail really taught me a lot of shit. What's it like when you see your ops in jail? Man, it really depends. Like, when y'all first see each other, of course it gonna be some tension, but like, when y'all both just realize, damn, we finna have to see each other every day, we do, do. Niggas ain't fine every day. Like, you might not fuck with him, but you know what I'm saying? Like, it's, it's tension when y'all first see each other, but I know motherfucker finna fight the same nigga every day and shit. We can just handle this shit when we get back on the town. That's how I was looking at the shit. All right, all right. So you you do your time and you get out of jail. Now, and when you get out, do you try to go straight or do you go right back to the streets? My, I'm gonna keep it on. Like, when I got out of jail, the whole time I was in jail, see, all I was thinking about was the streets. I don't know why I got out. Like, when I got out that time, that, I don't know, like, that shit made me worse. Like, a year later after I got out again, I ended up getting locked up again on a, 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 a little murder charge. I just beat that murder charge, though. So I got locked up on a murder charge in 2020. I just beat that this year, though. You beat a murder charge. Yeah. Okay, damn. So. Yeah, yeah. Great, thank God. You get arrested for murder. Now, do you, are, were you out on bail for a while or? Yeah, I got dope before rap, though. I made my bail before I even was rapping and shit. Like, I did before I was rapping. I, I was out on bond. Okay, and how long were you in jail before you were able to bond out? See, I ain't gonna lie, like, I ain't know, like, we ain't never had no, like, no money problems. See, I was just, like, soon they gave me the bond, I made them motherfucker. Like, I was sitting in there, like, a week. They gave me the bond, I think it was, like, 100,000, 150,000, some shit like that. That shit, I was at that motherfucker, like, a week. Okay, and now, do you hire an attorney, or do you hey, get a public defender? Hey, nah, a public defender gonna fuck you up. Hey, that's like a prosecutor, a public defender, that's what I look at them like. <laughs> Yeah, I had a player to turn it on. Uh, shout out Gray Barley. He, he he knocked it down for me. Okay, so now how's your fighting your case, you know, and they're bringing evidence and everything out, man. How, how are you feeling about everything? Nah, but I really knew, like, the shit they were like, that. I ain't even, like, it was just, they were going out some he say, she say shit. You see what I'm saying? 
So motherfuckers, they just going by what a motherfucker say. So somebody told them something, but when it was time to come to court and trial and shit, you know, he didn't want to take the stand to testify. Okay, so they so they didn't have enough evidence, and so did they drop the case or did you beat take it to trial and beat it? Nah, they I end up actually I end up taking it. It was a deal, like they dropped the case, but it was a deal, like some shit. Like at first they were trying to give me a deal for like probation. But I was like, hell no, nah, I'm not finna take If y'all offer me probation and y'all trying to say that I murdered a motherfucker, y'all can't have no evidence. So I was like, hell no. Nah. But in time went by and shit, they just put me on some little shit, like called diversion for a couple months to get it off my record. Okay. When they first locked you up, how much time were they offering you? Shit, 15, 20, 15 to 25 years. My first offer, my first offer was 17 years. Sheesh, and you got that all way down. All right, that's what's up. That's what's up. So, you know, you beat this murder, and, you know, now things are looking, you know, really good for you. You know, are you going back to the streets still, or are you trying to go straight at this time? Um, nah, like, I was just in the process, you know, like, because the rap shit, it happened so fast for me, so, like, I just had to process through my mind, you hear me, that, like, I can't be just still doing the same shit. I ain't the same person no more. So now I just been on some whole other shit, like trying to get my guys in a better position, get me and my family in a better position. You see what I'm saying? That's why I just been working. I've been in and out the city. Yeah. At what point did you start rapping? My whole life, I, I like I always knew how to rap. I always write music or going to the studio. It just I didn't want to be a rapper because like. I had so much shit going on in the streets, I was feeling like, hell nah. And at first it was like, I was just pushing my little brother shit, you see what I'm saying? My little brother was rapping at first, so I, we really were just focused on him, prevailing type shit. And then I ended up dropping a song and taking off, and then motherfucker, I ain't expected to do that, but it did what it did, so I just, you hear me, I took my lick and ran. Man, that's what's up. That's what's up, man. You're going through hip hop, you know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, we all have our favorites of, you know what I'm saying, who we grew up listening to and, you know what I'm saying, maybe who we, you know, kind of look, looked after when we were developing our styles. You know, who are some artists that you kind of like, you know, might have studied or might have, you know, grew up listening to? Uh, grew up, I ain't gonna lie, I had to say, shit, everybody know like, me like young boy, uh, I listen to Kodak, uh, Money Man. I fuck with I fuck with some other different type of rappers too though. I like listening to niggas like Juice World and shit. Um, female artists. I, like right now I fuck with Cola Ray, all shit like that. Like I really got an open, like I don't just listen to one type of music. I listen to like a lot of shit, yeah. But like as far as like favorite rapper that I like, I ain't gonna say a favorite rapper, but the nigga I always listen to is nigga like young boy Cola. Shit, a little money bag and shit, shit like that. You said you don't always listen to uh, rap. What are some other genres you listen to? I like R and B. Like I, I fuck with people, people that be singing and shit, like Raw Wave and um, it's a couple more like little female artists, like my homegirls and shit be putting me on. Like I don't know all they name, but like I listen to their music. It just I know the song type shit. Okay, okay. Who are some artists that you've worked with? Um, I work with, you know, I work with, I don't work with, I got, but the biggest feature I probably say I got, I got a song with Snoop Dogg. Um, I got a song with Money Man. Um, Youngboy, P. Youngie, P, you know, Youngboy artist P. Youngie. Yep. Yeah, I got one with him. Um, a Chirac rapper, you know, 757BA. Okay. Yup, them by some of the like the main artists I've been working with. And the artist from um San Francisco, his name Lil Yee. Oh, okay. Yeah. He's coming up. Yeah, yeah, we got some shit. He gonna be on my tape I'm finna drop this month. Man, that's what's up, man. You know, the biggest name that surprises me is Snoop. Yeah. How'd that happen? That's crazy. Man, I be asking myself the same shit. I just woke up one day, I'm I'm woke up, we at the spot. I just see a motherfucking um, Dion from Snoop Dogg come across my phone. 
I see it though, like Instagram come across my phone nowadays, so I'm just knowing like it's a fake ad page texting me or some shit. I go to my um DM, I'm like, it really Snoop Dogg texted me, he like, what's up, near free? Who do? He like, send me your number. I'm like, damn. So man, I sent him my number. Like, he FaceTime me, it, it really Snoop Dogg. I was just like, damn, what the fuck this Snoop? <laughs> Like, that shit just happened out the blue, though. I swear to God, I don't know. It just happened out the blue. Have you been to Cali and met him? Yeah, yeah, I've been out there to his studio. Yo, we supposed to be shooting a video. He, po he gonna be on my album, too, though. We supposed to be shooting a video soon. Man, that's what's up. Yeah. Man, that, that's crazy, man. That's, that's that's dope shit, man. You know what I'm saying? Shit like that happened. Yeah. Snoop, 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 Snoop's a big ass man. I mean... He's a big name, man. He's like one of the biggest. You know, shit. He's like it's an OG. Know, not for even sure. like a rapper. He's more like a a brand or an icon now. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, like he's been putting it down. All right. Well, um, you know, this brings us to your the back back in blood remix. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so Pooh Shiesty drops, Pooh Shiesty and Dirk drop the song Back in Blood. And, and you guys respond to it, you know. You, so you guys took that first song, has a, a diss towards you guys? Uh, the song, yeah, you can tell it was a, yeah, it was a, I, yeah, I took it as a diss, but it just, the reason what made me respond is because the shit was just false as hell. Like, it just was some whole bunch of make believe and exaggerated that situation. So that was just made me respond. Okay. And he also took a shot at Dirk. Was he just like kind of collateral damage type of thing? Uh, I just feel like, you know, like they just had his work. Like I don't have no problem with Dirk, like personally. Like I ain't gonna lie, like before all this shit, he was crazy shit. Like I used to listen to that shit a little bit. To this day, I still listen to a little Dirk. I ain't gonna sit here and lie because he talking this shit that all screech nigga living, but I just ain't rocking with no nigga that's rocking with who I don't rock with. Did you have a move? What was your first reaction when you heard when you heard the song? Were you like mad? Were you like, nah, hell no, nah, fuck this? Like, you know what I'm saying? Or no, I just I was just like, man, yeah, bitch ass. I was just like, I just I just hate capping that shit. I just I would re it, it made me a little mad, but like it just was more like you trying to you trying to you trying to glorify some. Lying ass shit type shit. Like you trying to glorify some shit that you ain't even doing. You know what I mean? So this is all it was. It was just like I had to respond, tell the truth behind the situation. Now when you respond, what was the uh, reaction and everything after when you guys put out the uh, response record? Man, this shit went crazy. Like when we dropped it, like before when I when I first wrote the song and I was rapping it on the block and shit to the guys and shit. They were like, yeah, yeah, that motherfucker hard. Like, that motherfucker hard. Everybody kept saying it. So, bam, when we went to the studio and laid it down, it's like, everybody we were letting here was like, damn, y'all, they, they, they hard as hell. So, we was we was expecting it to do something because everybody kept saying it was hard, but we was thinking, like, we probably do like 30K in a day, you know, some shit like that. Man, we uploaded the video. Like, I set my phone down after I, the video dropped. I picked the motherfucker back up by 10 more minutes. It was already at 100K. I was like, damn. Then we just watching it go overnight. It almost reached a million views. Then we wake up in the morning trying to watch it, and this motherfucker was gone. Oh, God, it just disappeared. We like, what the fuck? And this is like when we first jumping in music. So we don't know what happened. We like, how the fuck? What, what going on? You know what I'm saying? So this shit really fucked the nigga up. So, uh, somebody filed a copyright claim on you guys. Yeah, but like I don't, I ain't gonna lie. Like I ain't know shit. I we was new to the music shit, so I ain't know like they was calling like, damn, the mountains and shit was calling like they were gonna get that shit took down and shit. But I'm like, my folk can't get our shit took down. We pay for it, not knowing it's the whole business side behind this shit that they can go easily just copyright this shit and get it took down. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, damn. And so, but eventually, do you guys get it back? 
Nah, we like it's other people that uploaded it and shit, but like, nah, every time like we upload it's gonna get took down. But it's other folks like the small little channels that have uploaded and probably got like a million views, eight hundred thousand views or something like that. Damn. So that video gets taken down and you actually release another video. Yeah, um which which I think it was rumors. Rumors. Yeah. That's it right there. Rumors what 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 folks really don't know, like Rumors, that song really was made before Back in Blood. Like, I was gonna drop this, like, that was gonna be like my first real song. Like, I was gonna drop this as my first song. But before I even dropped this song, they went and made that Black Back in Blood. So that would make me go on, that would make me go on, drop the Back in Blood remix before Rumors. But Rumors were originally supposed to be my first song that I ever dropped. So you had that one ready to go? Yeah, yeah. Now, in, in one of the videos, you have Quando Rondo in the video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you and Quando Rondo linked in? Uh, no, nah, I wouldn't say we linked in. I had to talk to him on some occasions, but I wouldn't just say we linked in, though. I fuck with, um, at the whole NBA camp, I'd say I fuck with P. Young and his big brother, Rico. Rico Taliban, more than in, just at the NBA camp. Oh, okay. So you kind of just put Quando up in there? Yeah, like he rock with it, like he 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 hit a nigga up and shit, like this shit hard, all that. But that was on, that was a little minute ago, like we ain't never just hung with each other, no shit like that, though. All right, well, I mean, you know, I know Pushaisi's locked up now. Is there any way you and Pushaisi can kind of like settle your differences, or is it just like he goes his way, you go your way? Uh, I don't even want who it did. Okay. Did you know Young Dolph? I ain't gonna lie. I didn't know him personally, but I watched him, like, cause we, he from my city. I ain't gonna lie, though. I'm keeping 100, though. Dolph, like, I this is, like, one of my, like, I ain't gonna say role model, but, like, this who motivated, motivated a nigga, like, just watching him type shit come from, remember where I come from and do what he did. And I feel like he was one of, like, the realest nigga. Like it, from the outside looking in, I feel like he wanted to really like CEOs in the city. See what I'm saying? Cause I seen how he put like I seen with my eyes how he put on for his team and shit. I can't speak for nobody else. You know what I'm saying? But as far like I ain't know him personally and shit. Nah. Yeah, Dolph was definitely like you know motivation, man. I think I seen somewhere he turned down like a twenty-two was it 20 million or thirty million dollar deal or something like that. Yeah, yeah. I was like, damn, that's crazy. Yeah, he was popping his shit. You know, he he was out there getting it, man. Shit, that's for damn sure. What was it like when you heard the news of him passing, being that, you know, he was such a big inspiration to you? I, I kind of had, like, shit, the reaction. Everybody probably had, like, damn, who the fuck killed Dow type shit? Like, why the fuck they killed Dow? But at the same time, like, when you from them trenches, like, you, you, like, you know how this shit is out here. Like one slip of you gone. Like did you have did you have Memphis here? Like you gotta stay on ten. You can't think you finna walk around loafing, going in the world. Hell no. Nah. You gotta be on ten everywhere you go. Yeah, I hear that, man. Having issues with someone like Pushaisty who's got this like huge, huge fan base at the time. You know, do his fans ever come after you or try to harass you or anything? Um, on the internet, but like, like, not like, I ain't gonna lie, like, people know they ain't dumb. They know how we moving, you know what I'm saying? Especially like from our city, or even when you see me in your city, you can just tell, like, you ain't gonna get away with playing with us. So I, they're, they're probably, they'd be the least thing on a nigga, man. If anything, I gotta say, shit, they, they blackball the motherfucker, cause who I'm into it with, but not no, I ain't, Physical shit, nah. You feel like you're blackballed? Yeah, yeah, for sure. I wouldn't even say blackball. I just feel like people scared to fuck with me because who who I don't fuck with. You know what I'm saying? Right. Damn. Is there been any specific opportunities that you know you lost out on? Who would it? Oh, uh, I think you were signing on Saturday night. It was a record label though that was finna sign me. And shit, like we was, we had met met with each other, did a whole lot of shit. We did our 
like going to studio sessions, all this shit. Then they hit my little brother, which my man, my little brother, my manager, they hit him up like they ain't wanna lose their relationship with other artists. So they ain't want they ain't wanna fuck with me type shit. Yeah. Man, that's rough, bro. Damn. But you grinding though, you know what I mean? Like it don't hell seem yeah. like it's really slowing you down. Hell nah, they can't, but you can't, you can't, you can't stop grinding. If for real, like you can't. Like if shit meant to be, it's gonna happen. If it's not meant to be, it's not gonna happen. They had a leaky thing. I just, I just put myself in a position for, for it to happen. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. No, I just put myself in a position yeah. for it to happen. Fuck it, bro. It, it, eventually, you know what I'm saying? You grind hard enough, it'll be the other way around. Yeah. Motherfuckers will be like, yeah, I don't want to lose the relationship with E. Jizzle, so we ain't fucking with you. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Did. Yeah. How did you get your name, E. B. G. E. Jizzle? What does the uh, E. B. G. stand for? E. B. G. This 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 E. Bells a guy. My little brother, he passed away when we were fifteen. You hear me? He got hit while he was riding a moped. His nine, his nickname was E. Bells. So when he died, we started E. Bells a guy. E and made it EBG. And the E Jizzle, that shit, that shit just a screw. Like, my nigga never gave me that nine when I was like, shit, nine, ten. Like, everybody always just been calling me Jizzle. Oh, okay. Okay, for sure. Now, also, when I was doing some research, you know what I'm saying? I'm listening to your songs and, you know what I'm saying? I'm going through everything. And, you know, I, I seen you got a song called Little Double Ho. <laughs> yeah. What what's going on with that one right there? Uh, if you, it's that one of them joints, if you know, you know. You know what I'm saying? I just be I just be bringing light on a whole lot of situations. You know what I'm saying? But I don't you want to go too deep into that motherfucker. But if you know, you know. Okay, for sure. Also, I seen you know at one point. Uh, you were shot. Yep. I think in the arm three times. No, nah, I got shot in the arm two times. Two times, then I got grazed right like down here somewhere. Okay, can you take me through what happened? Ah, uh, yeah. This, I'm glad you the first you the first person asked me about this situation too. I'm glad I could finally put this on camera. Man, I could talk about this shit now because it's old wit, but I ain't gonna say no nah, none of this shit. I was with, it's crazy, I was with a little bitch, you hear me? I'm with a little bitch. I guess the whole time her and her nigga, they done broke up. But me, I'm not knowing this. I'm just going over there, you hear me, to handle my business. So, bam, I'm in the whole house. We chilling and shit, you hear me? We chilling. I got my gun, my gun on the bed, but I'm I'm standing over the whole dresser rolling up. So, I guess the whole thing been into it with her nigga all day, with her, with her boyfriend all day. So, bam, as I'm rolling up, he busts in the room and get the, like, he beating the shit out the hoe, like, just beating the shit out I'm like, damn, what the fuck y'all got going? So, me, I'm P, I ain't finna, I ain't finna, I ain't on no aggressive shit about no bitch, nothing. I'm fin I'm getting my shit and leaving. So, as I'm getting my shit and leaving, I guess he took that in his head that I'm finna kill him or, or, or pop him or shoot him about, about, his, about his female. So bam, as I'm going, as I'm walking to my, get my shit out the bed, he take off running out the room. When he take off running out the room, he shoot all through the walls and shit. Like this a nigga that I, I ain't never meet. Like he want no op, y'all don't know him. No rapper didn't shoot me. No rapper friend didn't shoot me. No group of, no gang that I'm in tour with shot me. It was just on some whole outside shit, like in some relationship. Like domestic violence, I got caught in the middle of some domestic violence shit. For real. <laughs> For real, I had caught the middle of some domestic violence shit. And get back gone. Fuck the time. <laughs> so, so you get hit, you hit in your arms. You know, uh, shit, man, what are you first thinking when you first get hit? See, I really want to think too much too. I knew I was straight. I was just like, because it's Memphis. It's like, motherfucker gets shot, everybody gets shot. Like, it's Memphis. Like everybody to get shot type of shit. If you in the streets, it's a, it's a point of time where yo, you gonna get grazed or something. So I really wanna just think it too hard on it. Plus I know what I was gonna do anyway. You see what I'm saying? So I just wanna think it too hard on it. Only thing that made me mad is like 
When I, I wasn't even on the internet when I got shot. Like, but soon I logged on everybody. Like, oh, check Instagram. I see motherfuckers all on the ground, capping like they shot me. Like, just really just clout chasing type shit. So that was just made me realize that a lot of these niggas be in this shit for attention or for the image. Right. I, I believe Pooh Shiesty posted something like, damn, uh, that 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 pussy diss and now he can't even walk. Yeah. You know, something something like that. Yeah, and he ain't had shit to do with nothing. You know what I'm saying? He got a lot of you know, Yeah, he ain't had nothing to do with nothing. But get back on. So you get you know, so you get shot, do you go straight to the hospital afterwards? Uh, yep. I went to the hospital. I had to have surgery on my arm and shit. How long were you in the hospital? About five days. Damn. That's pretty bad for a, a arm shot, man. So I think you had a cast on there and everything? Man, I ain't gonna lie. My shit was so fucked up. Like, my arm, like... Man, they have just getting back right. Like, them motherfuckers couldn't even move at first, for real. <laughs> like, my shit was broken in two different places. They had, they had to do so much shit to put them motherfuckers back together. But, you know, God work, God work in mysterious way. Everything happened for a reason. I believe um, you, sh you shot a music video right afterwards called Paralyzed. Oh, yeah, as soon as I got at the hospital, I was right back in the trenches. This shit didn't stop. I was right back, like, first day. Like, my doctor told me I didn't go outside. I was outside. As soon I walked out of there, motherfucker. What was it like shooting the video? Shit. Kind of just, like, taunting everybody who thought you were paralyzed and shit. <laughs> nah, it just was mostly, uh, I ain't gonna lie. They, they paralyzed on. They probably wanted something that, like, really, I wrote, I don't even write music. So like I wrote this song out of anger type shit. Like I really there was a message for real right there. That, that, that what I say about this song. This this is a song like cause I don't write most of my songs that y'all hear. I, I straight freestyle them songs in the studio. But I wrote paralyzed like when I was mad as fuck. Cause like nigga with cloud chasing, capping all this shit. Like all the shit you just talking about how nigga was on there talking about they shot me. I can't walk. I'm paralyzed. So they, I just say this song right there was like the most direct message. All right, well that's what's man. I'm glad you're okay from that, man. Yeah, yeah. Some smile. A lot of rappers when they're coming up, you know, they want to get to a major because it's the fastest way to build your buzz. You know what I'm saying? And some some dudes like to go independent and they like to kind of just grind it out as long as they can. You know, what's your thoughts on going major or staying independent? Oh. Uh. I ain't gonna lie, like, if he's right, I, I, ain't, I ain't the type of nigga, like, I ain't gonna sit here and lie, like, like, I ain't gonna turn down no $22 million deal and shit. I'm not, that ain't me. If it's enough for me to, like, make sure I'm straight and everybody around me straight, and I can make, you hear me, make, make, make more money off the money you giving me type shit, then yeah, I'm at it. But like, if you trying to come with me on some penny pension ass shit, you can keep it moving because like I know niggas like with hundred, hundred, hundreds of thousands of dollars, two hundred thousands of dollars, and they ain't even rappers. So in order for me to just go major, it got like I gotta be the richest nigga in my hood type shit. Coming up, man. You know what I'm saying? You're doing millions of views and everything. How's the feature money coming in? Yeah, this shit good. It be, it be. I ain't gonna lie, like. But me though, I'm still a hustler type shit. You know, like how some rappers that be saying, if you ain't got fifteen thousand, I ain't doing no freestyle. But me, I'm the type of nigga. I right, bam, if I charge you ten thousand for a feature, but right, if I charge ten thousand for a feature, but you only got let's say you got forty forty five hundred, it ain't no way in the world I'm finna turn down forty five hundred for some shit that I can go do in thirty minutes. You know what I'm saying? They're how I raise. I'm a hustler. Like, I can go give you a hot ass verse in 30 minutes and make $4,500. So, I ain't, with the features, like, though I think, like, so many people be wanting to fuck with me on features and shit because I work with a motherfucker. I ain't just no cocky ass nigga just because I got a little buzz. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, that's what's up, man. For sure. You know, man, 
I always like to ask, get these people's uh, opinion about their city. You know what I'm saying? When I'm interviewing, uh, you know, different artists outside of Cali. You know, let's say like a popular rapper comes to Memphis and he like calls you up like, yo, I need some advice on how do I stay safe? Like, what are some tips that you would give him? My do your show. Don't get a hotel or nothing. Just do your show and go back home. This is it. Don't don't stay. Don't mess with none of the chicks. Nothing. Don't book a hotel. You ain't don't, just do your show and go back. I'm telling you, this 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 the best time. Cause nobody's safe out here. I'm talking about from the mayor to the basketball player, bus drop, nothing. Nobody's safe out here. I, it ain't safe nowhere out here. All right. What's your opinion on the way things are going in the streets in Memphis? Ah, uh, okay. Man, I say like. It ain't no, it ain't no respect. It ain't no like, it ain't no, it ain't no respect in this shit no more. Like it's just anything goes type of shit. Like back in the days and shit, motherfucker catch you with your kids and shit and just keep keep riding. Like people getting killed in front of their kids. Like old women getting carjacked. You know what I'm saying? Folks killing their family members and shit out here. Like we're all over the world, but like this shit, the way this shit go on in Memphis, it just this shit crazy. Then like, no, I know murders getting solved. This shit, so you know this shit just hit the guy here right now. Like for real, this shit like Afghanistan. Damn, damn, man. So ha having to go through that every day, you know what I'm saying? Living in Memphis, you know what I'm saying? Are you are you thinking about moving outside of Memphis, or are you still gonna stay in Memphis? Yeah, I got some little spots out of town and shit, but like, it it just like. A lot of bad shit going on, but I ain't no place like home type shit. Like it just, I still like I feel safer in the trench type. But like it's 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 dangerous, but like I feel safer there. I don't know why. It just because you know, you can take it and you got the hood, but you can't take it out of me. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, man. But yeah. Every, everybody be on on my ass about this shit though. Like all the people they care about, or like the people I do business with, they be big on me staying out of Memphis type shit. Yeah, I mean, you know, I'm sure has as you've seen the memes and everything, a lot of rappers get killed in their own city, man. Yeah, yeah. You know. But I also get it because I think you get the most love in your city. It depends. Man. Nigga like me though, like, I'm a whole different type of wave. Like, it's it really like us, it's just like EBG versus everybody. It's EBG versus Memphis type of shit. So like I say I get way more like when I be out of town and shit, it's always all down. Let me get a picture, ooh, 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 ooh. let me you hear me autograph for some shit. In Memphis it's motherfucker gonna mean mug the shit out you, all that. Like but certain people like it depends, like certain people they get that love from the city because they don't have the problems we have. You know what I'm saying? What's it like being the most hated in Memphis? Shit, I wouldn't try it. Like, I like it. I ain't gonna lie, I like it. Like, cause I feel like it just show how, how, how strong my team is. That, like, we still, we still doing what we do, and everybody against us, we still doing what we do, though. We still getting somewhere. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, I hear you. I hear you, man. Well, who are your top five rappers in Memphis? In Memphis, did I listen to? Yep. Shit. Um, I don't re Memphis, I well, one, I can include myself. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Me, um, Moose Line, um, Money is a rapper called my little brother, Money the Devil. Uh, I ain't gonna lie, like I listen to um what's it what's it mine now? I listen to Kivo Money and what other Memphis rapper? I listen to, it's a rapper out of Memphis called Money Two Time. I listen to him too. Double had to be my top five. All right, that's what's up, man. Well, um, you know, man, I know. You know, with, with the little, you know, back and forth issues you guys have had, man, you know, what are some of like the craziest Rumors or things you've seen about yourself on the internet? 
Shit, it had to be what you brought up earlier. They, um, what they say, I got shot and paralyzed by chopper gun out the distance. That, 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 was, okay. that was the craziest what, shit ever. What were you thinking when you seen that? Like, damn, like how, they like, how wish, did they even think you were paralyzed? They wish. This is how they wish. They were hoping. They, they, they would have been like Christmas to them. Yeah, shit, man. Not going. All right, well, what are you working on? You have any music or any tapes or anything you're dropping? Yeah, I'm finna drop a tape May 27th. I'm dropping Walking With The Devil. So y'all yeah, be on the lookout for this. This shit finna take over the summer. All right, that's what's up. Any videos or anything coming up? Yep, uh, I got plenty of videos Corolla now all next month, all this summer. But I'm dropping some shit. I just dropped the high speed last week. Um, y'all go get this. It, it's on YouTube. I'm finna drop another video next week called Get High. So I'm gonna be dropping my ass out next month. Yeah. What's it like working with Empire? They cool people. Cool people. That's what's up, man. Well, man, I appreciate you taking the time. Yeah, for sure. You know, it wasn't no problem. Yeah, man, definitely, man. You know, uh, shit, man. I see you grinding, man. You know, I, you know, I wish you the best. You know what I'm saying? I wish you success. You know what I'm saying? I like what you got going on, man. That Memphis, that Memphis flow. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's uh, it's what's up, man. Yeah, for sure. Appreciate you for having me, bro. Yeah, for sure. No problem.